just wanted to film this really quick because this never ever happens. I live in Arizona and it is snowing right now. It is so cold. We are not used to this, us Arizonans. But I wanted to take note of this and share it all with you guys. My son is out here with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> That's Cameron. Anyway, it's so beautiful. I don't get to see this very often, so I thought I would just share this with you guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amber and I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Right here I am just working, doing some Etsy orders. This is a romper, but I'm going to show you guys how I make my rompers, leggings, and even some headbands. So stay tuned and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you guys. If you guys are wondering how I make my rompers, there is a video on a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I do this. bands for the baby and they are matching this one is going to match the leggings and then this rabbit one they got a romper so I'm going to show you guys 
Um, in the clip before, I was heat pressing it and that was just so that the seam line was down the middle. So now what you're gonna do is looking at it right side up towards you, seam line down towards the ground, you're going to kind of like a breast awareness uh, ribbon. You're gonna fold it over and you're just going to make a very loose knot. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna fix it, but don't pull it tight. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna do that to both of them. So again, right side facing up, seam line facing down to the ground, fold it over like a ribbon, and then pull it through the hole. I tried to keep the right side facing up so it's easier in the end. Do not pull it tight, just keep it loose. So in the end, it's gonna look like this, something like this. And you want the knot to be facing up with the right sides facing up as well. My seam lines, or my seam lines, if you can see that, are facing down towards the ground still. So now you're gonna grab both of the right sides which are facing up to the ceiling and you're going to put right sides together just like this. And clip. Do the same thing. It looks like this, and it doesn't matter if the bow's in the middle or if it's off to the side, it's fine. And then you're gonna take your right sides together, which should be facing up already. If they're not, and one is up and one is down, you can always just adjust the bow. But you want right sides together, and what I'm doing is putting my two seams together in the middle, and that's how I line it up. And now, I don't normally pin, I usually just take it straight to the machine and serge it but because I'm showing you guys, you guys can pin. That way you can follow along. Now, I'm gonna bring you over back to the serger and I'm gonna show you how I do it from there. Okay, so now that we have them pinned like this, my two seam lines are matched together in the middle. You wanna make sure they're perfectly even. See how if that's off right there? You wanna make sure it's totally lined up. And that the ends are good. Okay. Take it over to your machine. Go slow where they meet because that's very big. It's bulky. And then what I do is lift, flip it over. I cut a little bit of that off and then I just fold it over the edge right here, back into it. And then I keep sewing. This is just so that it doesn't come undone when the kid is wearing it. I don't worry about that, I leave it. But I do secure my ends by tucking them in. Sometimes it falls, you go like this. Just tuck your ends in, go through the seam. I don't know if you guys can see that. Go through the seam and pull it. Sometimes it gets stuck, so you have to pull it with your finger. Cut it off. And then what I do is, it doesn't matter which way you fold it over. I just always like that side showing. It's the pretty side to me. I fold it over to the center and then I fold this over to the center. And then this right here, you want to be on the inside of your headband. So you're gonna flip it inside out, holding that. 
Now what you want to do is move your bow to cover this. You want this underneath the bow. So all I do is grab the center of the bow, which is right here, and I just move it along. So you're loosening up the headband. And then now that that is over it, you can pull. So just keep making it as tight as you can right here. And then you're just gonna pull the slack, but you're gonna keep holding on to this piece right here. Keep holding on to that. Pull the slack. Don't pull it too hard though, because you don't want to stretch it too much. But right here, see that? I'm just literally going like this and putting my finger underneath and I'm not pulling it super hard. I'm just tucking it and pulling it under. Okay, now my knot is under there, but you still want to make sure that this line is in the inside like that and that your bow is up on top, your knot. And you can adjust it however you like. If you want it closer together, you can move it closer together by just tucking these pieces under. I like it bigger, but see how if you pull it, it comes out. So all you have to do is pull it back together underneath. And don't pull this side because you know when you do that, it's gonna show, so pull the other side. And then you can just take it and just keep adjusting. Make it the way you like it. Twist and turn. Okay. And then that is how you make your knot headband. My rabbit is facing that way, and that is the knot. The seams are in the inside, and when I present it to them, I have it in a note card, and it is like that. So now we're gonna do the other one. I'm just gonna do it fast. So what I'm doing right now is just turning the corners, which means I'm just poking them out so that they're nice and square and they look nice and sharp. That is what this thing is. I do this before I heat press any of my rompers. I make sure that the corners are nice and turned, pointed, whatever you want to call it. Don't do it too hard though or else you'll poke a hole in the fabric.
This is a big romper, so I do it in steps. So I just do it in parts, like a third, a third, a third, as I heat it. And I probably heat it for about five seconds. on the heat press because I don't want them to get dirty or wrinkled again. So I fold them and then I put them back in their envelope. I did not fold this because I still need to snap it. So that is what I'm gonna go do over at the snap machine.
Hi guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I just wanted to come on. I know I didn't talk much throughout the video. Um, I just kind of wanted to get one out to you guys. It was another work along with me, um, but more specifically geared towards the headbands because I know a lot of you had questions on those after the live the other night. But I'm going to call it a day and it, this is actually a, a new day. It's super cold out in Arizona. And that is why I have this heavy jacket on. But anyway, my husband is in there working right now, so I needed to come out here and film this so that I can just say thank you guys so much for watching my video. Thank you guys so much for all your support lately. And you guys are all so kind, and I just love putting out new content for you guys. And I love my lives with you guys because we can chat. And yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you again. I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend. It is almost Friday. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. I'm going to keep putting out new videos. The plan is to get one video up every Thursday and then one live every Monday. So I hope you guys stay tuned for all my new content coming out and have a great day. Thank you guys again. Bye.